Hi, it's Mark Homan from Paul's Photo, the Lab at Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy. We're Facebook Live tonight because it's another awesome day to be creative. What do I want to talk to you about tonight? Packing your shoot. And what do I mean by that? Well, if you were a parachute jumper, you would always pack your own parachute so that you know that it's done right. You've got to learn to pack your camera bag to pack for your photo shoot. So this is my camera bag. And every time I go out to photograph, I pack it. And there's two problems that I see all the time uh, over the counter at Paul's Photo. Number one, customers come in and their bag is way too heavy because they have way too much stuff in their bag. They have their instruction book. The, their battery charger, an extension cord, all this other kind of, the paperwork that came with their camera. You don't need to carry that around today on a hike or a Disneyland or wherever else you're going. You just need to take the right thing. The second thing I see is the photographer that comes on one of our photo walks or Nighthawks trips and they forgot their battery, their memory card, because they didn't pack their own shoot that day. So let's take a look and see what I've got in my bag. So this is my Think Tank Streetwalker Pro V2. And in the front of the bag, I have an extra pair of glasses, a lens cloth, some business cards, a couple of pens, just to get me through in case I need something. You know, here's a secret compartment. If I wanted to put keys or money in there, I can do that. On the outside here, I have a pocket where I have my phone charger, my earpiece, an extra battery for my phone. So that is stored here because I need that stuff when I'm out. On the other side, a water bottle because I always carry a water bottle with me in the bag. This is my, like I said, my Think Tank Streetwalker Pro V2. Up in the top, two fully charged batteries. And these just came out of the charger. I know they're fully charged. You notice they're numbered three and four because all my batteries are numbered. In here, I have my memory cards. So this is a Think Tank Pixel Pocket and it holds my memory cards. The CF Express and SD cards, you can see those are numbered too. The numbers out mean the, the, the card is ready to go. If I had the card used, it would be stored with the label out. That way I know. You can see a pen and a post-it note for labeling the cards if I want to label them after they're done. So you can see everything goes right back in the same way so I can get to it. Oh, another trick. Remember your batteries need the plastic covers on them to be able to go on an airplane and it's just good good rules to do that. In my bag, if the battery doesn't have the cover, that means it's been used and is dead. In the bottom here, I have my remote release, a flashlight, a little uh, tube with some aspirin and Advil and stuff like that in it. But in here is the camera kit, right? Nikon Z7 II with the 24 to 70 lens on it. Every time I get ready to go, I turn the camera on and check the battery is full. I check that the memory card has room on it. I even check the playback. Oops, there's pictures on this card. I know I've already downloaded the memory menu, format, format card, yes. So now the card is clean. I always start the day with a clean card and a fully charged battery. The other thing, yes, there's a question. Mary would like to know, do you sell battery caps? We do not. They don't sell the battery caps extra. You get battery caps when you buy a new battery. I bet we have a few lying around. We no. don't. Oh. No. People always ask for those and they get snapped up. So um, the other thing I'll do is I will check the end of the lens to make sure it's clean. If it's got some dust on it, I use the Jumbo Hurricane blower to blow the lens off. I'll check the inside of the camera as well with the Jumbo Hurricane blower. And this is every night before I go out to shoot tomorrow that I'm ready to go. So that's my 
camera with the 24 to 70 lens, the 14 to 30 lens, I'll check the same way. Oh, that has a thumbprint on it. So I'm going to use the microfiber cloth. Don't, we don't use lens tissue anymore. And just a little breath. Just a smooth wipe there. And that takes care of that issue. My second camera, the infrared camera, I once again check it. Full battery. Check the card. Ah, menu. Format, cards erased, ready to go. Awesome. The telephoto lens looks good. So now my shoot is ready to go. If you notice, I don't have extra things in my bag. I don't have the instruction book. I don't have my battery charger. I don't have, I don't know, whatever else you can imagine because I don't mind carrying my camera bag, but I don't want to carry too much weight. So I'm always looking to take things out of my bag. In fact, a few minutes ago, I took a bunch of extra stuff because, you know, extraneous stuff just gathers in my bag from time to time. So I have to take it out, get rid of it so that my bag stays at the minimum weight. It's important to pack your chute and be ready to go. This bag stays like this with the charge batteries, the formatted memory cards all the time. Oh, I forgot to show you one more thing. I forgot to show you that when I'm done with a shoot before I'm ready to go, I'm going to reset the camera to aperture priority, ISO 400, auto white balance matrix meter so that I know the camera is in my neutral or set position. So that when I go out and photograph, I know where I'm starting. I can adjust quickly to any situation. Biggest problem a lot of people have is they have the camera set up for a certain thing. They throw it back in the bag and they don't reset their camera. Important trip tips and tricks on your camera bag to get your shoot to work right. Any questions, Cheryl? No? Is anybody out there? Are they watching? Can I get a Wahoo, a Yahoo, a... Emoji from anybody out there? All right. If there's no more questions, we'll go over again what's important when packing your shoot. Charged batteries, formatted memory cards, clean camera, clean lenses, and everything is ready to go in the place where it belongs. If you noticed, I didn't even have to look where the bits and pieces are in my camera bag, I know. And in every camera bag I own, the batteries, the memory cards are always in that same spot so I can reach right to them and get them ready to go. Because I'm not that smart when I'm out in the field, just like I don't use a lot of settings on my cameras. I want it to be simple and easy so I can do it almost thought free when we're in the field. Looks like we've got a question coming in. You got lots of yahoos and wahoos. Yay. Nelda says hello. Hello, Nelda. How are you? Anybody else? Any, any questions? Are you guys ready to go out and photograph tomorrow? I can't wait to show you what I photographed over the weekend because I set up my camera, but I forgot to make the video for you. So I'm going to show you what I did over the weekend. And I have another Be Creative we'll do in the next couple days to go over something else that's really fun and exciting. I love doing these. I love keeping you guys motivated and getting out and shooting pictures. Any other questions? Nelda says she's hanging in there. I love it, Nelda. Good job. All right. All right. If there's no more questions, if I'm going to sign off, let you guys all get to bed and have some fun tonight. Mark Homan from Paul's Photo, the Lab at Paul's Photo, and the Creative Photo Academy. Let's get out there and be creative. Pack your shoot. Go make some pictures and have fun doing it. We'll see you tomorrow for another day of Be Creative.